this issue of gerrymandering does not belong to any one party. Both the Democrats and the Republicans have done it. Mayor Nancy Vaughn joined Greensboro Citizens and Common Cause on Monday in calling on the legislature to establish a nonpartisan system for drawing North Carolina's voting maps. So we are asking our state to really be bold and look beyond this. We've got to get both political parties off the addiction of gerrymandering. Under the state's long-standing system, whichever party controls the legislature also controls the redistricting process, allowing partisan politicians to draw voting districts that heavily favor their own party. The result has been a lack of competition in elections and politicians shielded from accountability to voters. When we gerrymander, thereby suppressing the vote with the purpose of diluting the voice of others, especially minority voters, we destroy the integrity of an election system that is supposed to take the interest of the entire community into account. It is vital that we continue to push for an electoral system that values all North Carolinians. Among the speakers at the press conference was Alex Johnson, a senior at North Carolina A&T State University in Greensboro, the largest historically black college in the nation. State lawmakers have gerrymandered A&T's campus into two different congressional districts. It's a move that Johnson says fractures the voting power of students. For many young people, college it's a time where we first begin in the democratic process. But how can we encourage students to actively participate in our election when gerrymandering undermines the power of their vote? Also speaking was Calder Pryor, a Greensboro business owner, who said gerrymandering undermines the state's economy by shielding elected officials from accountability to their constituents. Simply put, this is bad business for North Carolina and leads to uh, radical policies and legislation that are bad for our local economies. These Greensboro citizens urged the legislature to pass House Bill 200, which would establish a nonpartisan redistricting process. HB 200 has broad support among the public and bipartisan support among lawmakers. And yet, legislative leaders have blocked House Bill 200 from getting a vote or even a hearing. There's no good reason in our mind for the legislative leadership not to support Register Green Reform. Monday's press conference was held outside the prior federal courthouse in Greensboro, site of an upcoming trial in Common Cause v. Rucho, challenging the constitutionality of partisan gerrymandering. It's a case that could be key to finally establishing fair redistricting for North Carolina. We're in it for the long haul. We're not going away. We're going to continue pressing for reform on the legislative side and will sometime be at this courthouse also looking for relief through the courts. Join the fight for fair voting maps at ngerrymanderingnow.org.